hello everyone so today in this uh, tutorial level I am going to add the grenade training so we have already implemented this pistol am uh, ammo collection ammo pickup and shooting trainings so once I finish this shooting challenge this door will open and I can proceed to the section where I have implemented the grenade throwing tutorial so let me quickly finish this round three rounds okay round trip complete to open now here press and hold G to aim grenade and release to throw we have grenades here if I try to proceed to next section I get destroy the targets with grenades press and hold G and throw why it's not getting destroyed oh sorry anyway now that everything is destroyed i can proceed to the next section so okay and that's what i am going to do today okay so now here we do the shooting training and then across this corridor we can reach to this room which i have already put four enemies four targets uh, together and i'm gonna put some grenades here and ask player to pick up grenades and then throw at these uh, characters to destroy them at once so small grenade tutorial right so for that let me oh. actually we have a couple of grenade types but just showing one grenade should be enough uh, oh no we can't put grenades we have to put it as a crate ammo crate right and I'll change this to a grenade oh, remove this randomize change to grenades and um, count I'll just put five uh, to make it easier for testing let me move this guy here as the starting point okay we have the grenade pick it up so i can throw them oh these guys are not reacting to grenades i haven't implemented that i think let me open and see under damage level we have on bullet hit we have implemented that and on explosion hit yeah we haven't implemented that so on bullet hit this is what we do so i'll call the same function on explosion hit as well because we just need to move uh put down the target that's all we need so it doesn't matter what happens so damage okay now let's see i already have a grenade nothing happened 
I think this is not been called. So let's go to the implementation of this function. It's in explosive component and we are doing a trace as I remember. Oh, yeah. So this multi-sphere trace, this is how we detect the surrounding enemies. So things that react to explosions. Um, so what if we this part is a bit cluttered yeah pawn and destructible these are the object types but the shoot target object type here select this and where dynamic is the object type so I'll go to custom still we are blocking everything I'll change this to pawn now they should be reacting to the explosion. Let's see. Yeah, two of them is down. Why not other two? Is something blocking those? Um, let me draw debug type for duration and see. This time it got told why it didn't work previously. Oh, is it correct, the location of explosion? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, no issue. So let me remove the debug type to none. And now let's add, just like here, let's add a trigger with the door. Once these four characters are down, the door should open. So we need something like this. No, uh, yeah, trigger door. So I'll duplicate trigger door and I'll name it trigger door. Grenades. Okay. And mm -hmm. here now we don't really need this condition. What we need is uh, we need to have reference to these four targets so so targets in the type pp shoot target and i'll make it an array and public so get the shoot targets and run a for each low with uh, not necessary to have a break so here how do we know if this shoot target is down oh code shot yeah we set this code shot to true when it gets shot so so on bullet hit and we are using the same function for explosion hit as well so this should work if uh, 
got shot if any of the show targets haven't uh, got shot that means we have remaining targets we still need to uh, explode with grenades so we should not open the door got shot let's add a branch if this is false let's have uh, we need another variable open door so this should be just a boolean not an array by default it's false so here i'll set open door to true and at any case if we go to false for got shot i set open door to false and reroute another reroute perhaps we should move this part down yeah if open door is true we can open the door proceed to the next section otherwise destroy the targets with grenades okay we can put this one here which one is the trigger start this one and the other one is trigger end so I'll rotate it this way And also we need some text trigger this trigger instruction should work so this one should simply say um, press oh Ooh. we need to show an input so this won't work oh wait let me open this it just shows the tip right so um let me duplicate this pp instruction now instead of simply showing the T uh, if you remember we implemented a way to get the inputs here using player controller get input yeah this way we can get throw grenade input action throw grenade key and bind it append it into a message and show that message so let me copy this right so the input name should be Where's the inputs? I throw a grenade. Let me copy that. Press. 
actually we should press and hold G to aim and then release to throw the grenade so press and hold whatever the input to uh, to aim grenade and release to throw would this be too long I'm not sure Oh, sorry. This is not where I should have changed this. So let me copy and undo. Because this trigger instruction grenade. This is where I should have changed. Okay, now I got IA throw grenade, press and hold G to aim, grenade and release to throw. And let's put that. Press and hold G to aim grenade and release to throw. We have the grenades here. Press and hold G. Wait. If I go here, oh, it or it did open already. Why is that? Ah, oh, sorry. I didn't set the references, so. Let's set the references. Right now, if I try to go here without destroying, I get destroy the targets with grenades. Okay, let's destroy them. Okay, hold down. Now the door opens. Great. Alright, so that's it for today. And I'm still thinking about whether to add tutorial sections for all other weapons. So I'm not even sure it's required at this point. Or whether to go to create a demo level. So yeah, let's see. I'll think about it and do the next episode. Alright, so thanks for watching. As always, Project Files will be available here for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.